Just uh, ask my final question with my time running out, Mr. Templeton. As you know, sir, I served for about seven years on a credit union board back when I had an Afro. Uh, and I, let me just ask you a question, though, that looking at the current environment, can you, what is the impact on your ability to loan? Uh, how many folks are you employing today who are involved in the regulatory responsibilities of the credit union versus the lending part of the credit union? And what does that look like for the future of credit unions if, if what we've seen so far gets worse? Today, we have two people employed full-time. We're in the process of adding a third person full-time. But that's only the beginning of the compliance costs. Those are people who are dedicated eight hours a day doing nothing but compliance. Every time we have a new product, every time we have a feature change, we have to reach down into the functional departments and involve those people in the compliance aspects of how are we going to be compliant on this new modification. So those numbers exponentially go up. Uh, to maybe answer your question in another way, the loan that you talked about uh, that used to could be done in many uh, uh, local banks and credit unions was a five-minute loan in many cases back then. Yeah, I know you. I, I've known you forever. I trust you. Let's get the paperwork done. Today, that loan may turn into 15 or 20 or 30 hours. That's a regulatory compliance burden. That's a, an overhead cost that's not measured in all the assessments of the risk and reward. You talk to me today about that loan. I say, well, let me get back to you. So I go and I talk to the financial analyst. And I say, what do you think? I go and talk to this person. I go and talk to that person. And the process goes on and on and on. Dollars rub.